Okay, here's the deal. You can make the absolute best videos anyone has ever seen on YouTube. The most fantastic videos, life-changing YouTube content. But if your thumbnail sucks, no one's ever gonna see it. Now I'm here today because people ask me all the time, yup, how do you make such awesome YouTube thumbnails? Wow, I've never seen any pictures like those before. Whoa. I have people stop me on the street. Hey man, do you have any advice for YouTube thumbnails? I know that's almost unbelievable that that would happen to me. I'm here today to show you step by step, top to bottom, how to make the best possible YouTube thumbnails to get you all the clicks. Now I want you to be careful because during this video, there's gonna be some thumbnails on your screen. They're gonna make you wanna click and you might just pause the video. That's what that would look like. So let's take a look at how to do it. Uh, first of all, get this freaking crap, get this crap out of here. What is this? Game logo and a screenshot from the game? No, 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 we're not doing that. No one's gonna click on this. You see this crap? No one's gonna click on it. A fresh canvas, that's what we need. Let's pick a game. What's a game that people play on YouTube? I'll just search for gameplay. Okay, look, Geometry Dash. Also, that video's by your boy, no big deal. Geometry Dash, let's say we were gonna make a Geometry Dash thumbnail. What ideas would you have for a Geometry Dash thumbnail? Maybe a screenshot from the game? Maybe some Geometry Dash, you know, promo art? WRONG! The first thing you need is your own face, right? And you, you wanna look surprised. You're not gonna wanna look surprised. You're gonna need to look surprised. So I'm gonna hit something like... That ought to be good, okay? Let's get that in there real quick. So we'll bring, we'll bring that picture... Perfect. This is the foundation for a good YouTube thumbnail, okay? You're gonna want your big, freaking, obnoxious face on it as big as possible. Because if there's one thing we need more of on YouTube, it's white guys looking surprised on thumbnails. I really just don't think there's enough of that, and that's really the next wave in YouTube thumbnails, you know? So we're gonna want to get rid of this background real quick, so I'll just loosely kind of do this real quick. Boom, you're halfway done already. If you wanna get a little crazy, let people know like, hey, I'm kinda wacky, put some tilt on them. The kids, they love to tilt. You tilt a little bit, just as if to say like, oh, you know, instead of like, oh. Slow down, because don't click on this yet. I mean, it's not even done. I can see that you guys are itching to click on this. It's not a real thumbnail. You're gonna wanna take your brightness, your contrast, you're gonna wanna just slide them both up. That's where it's at, right there, just both of them. <laughs> You might also want to take a second to save a template of this right here because this can be your thumbnail for any YouTube video. That's right, you could put any picture behind this and you now have a ready-made thumbnail that'll work for any YouTube video at all. Doesn't really matter what kind of video you're making, this'll work. Step number two, you're going to want to go to Google Image Search and type the name of the game you're playing. Geometry Dash, right? And you just kind of scroll around, you know what you're doing right now? You're shopping. You're window shopping. Any of these screenshots, they can be yours. Now I know what you're thinking. Yeah, these aren't screenshots of my gameplay. This is going to have nothing to do with the game I'm playing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because no one cares. So, <laughs> you're gonna... <laughs> because we're trying to mislead people into clicking on our videos, right? So, find something that is it screams excitement. It needs to be super exciting. Oh, here we go. What's going on here? See, this is a wallpaper that somebody made. You're gonna go ahead and download that. Make sure you don't credit them in the description because that's just gonna distract your viewers from watching your video. Now, they don't need a bunch of links in the description to who created the art you're using in your thumbnail. No, don't, don't worry about that. Just go ahead and go for it. Oh, there you go. We'll put that behind the face because obviously our face is the most important thing in this thumbnail. Not the game title, not anything like that, just our freaking face. Do that right there. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking real good, dude. That is looking great. Now, what is the other secret I told you? Brightness, contrast, take them up. Take them up. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yup, that looked fine as it is. No, shut up. Take the brightness and contrast up. Ooh, see, all of a sudden, it's edgy. Before, look at this, before, I mean, that just looks like a, a, maybe a screenshot or something, but look at right now. Oh, whoa! What's happening? Could be anything. They want to know what is happening there. Look, we got the, my face reacting, right? Because that's what it's all about. It's about the reaction. We're making reaction videos. I hate myself right now. I can't do this. <laughs> You're going to want to add some text just to help encapsulate the emotion you want your viewers to be feeling. So we're gonna go ahead and add a WTF in here. Because if there's one face that says WTF, it is that one right there. Now make sure you pick your most intense looking font. Now remember what we said before, you wanna let people know that you're wacky, you gotta, you gotta get the angles. 
It's all about the angles, just like girls who take their freaking pictures on Tinder and stuff and they don't look like that, it's because it's because the angles. Dudes taking their selfies on Instagram, take it from the above angle, right? I look much better like this, right? Than I do like this, right? 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 <coughs> so then we got the WTF on there, we got the game screenshot, it looks all crazy, like what's going on? If it was me, and I mean it is, I would go ahead and add a drop shadow on that text right there, but not just any drop shadow. I want a wacky drop shadow. I want something clickable, dude. It's gotta be clickable. So I'm gonna get a green, I mean the more obnoxious colors that will draw in someone's eye from a mile away from their tablet. So I'm gonna do bright green drop shadow right here, just in every direction. Uh, it's, one time was not enough. Let's, let's just go ahead and repeat that. Yeah, let's do another one. Repeat that. Oh yeah, let's repeat re one more time. Repeat that. Wow, I mean looking great. There's your Geometry Dash thumbnail right there. That's a clickable thumbnail. Now you gotta keep in mind that when people see these on their screen, they're about that big. Now look, I can read the text, it's bright and colorful, there's some kind of emotion on the face, what's happening there? Whoa! You want them to make that face when they click the video, when it has nothing to do with the thumbnail. <laughs> what about Minecraft? The kids are always playing Minecraft, aren't they? Now, I'll, I'll go without the face on this one, since we did the face last time, I know you, you're wanting more examples. You're like, yeah, I don't want to make only one kind of thumbnail. Now, if you were going to make a Minecraft thumbnail, what's the first thing you would think about putting in it? Maybe a screenshot, right? Maybe the logo, Minecraft. Wrong. Boobs. You're going to want to get boobs on that thumbnail somewhere. It doesn't have to be the, the focal point of the thumbnail. It's really good if it is. Yeah, my Minecraft video has nothing to do with boobs. That's fine. It doesn't matter. The boobs serve as the entryway. You want to enter through the boobs. Click the boobs. So against my better judgment, I'm going to Google image search boobs right now. Now those of you who have parents that monitor you very closely, you're going to remember that uh, Google searching for the word boobs is going to get you in a lot of trouble and you should not do anything. In, in fact, anything you see me do, I would just avoid it in general. There's a relatively innocent looking picture of boobs right there. I will do, I will do that one. That's fine. This video feels very strange. I'm regretting making it already. We're going to put the, <laughs> we're going to put the boobs in there. Sorry, we're gonna put the boobs in there. This is serious. If you want to enhance your YouTube thumbnails to the next level, you need to be willing to take risks. So you just size the boobs up. As big as big as the boobs can go, the better. You're gonna want to search for Minecraft logo PNG. You're gonna get that. You're gonna want to slap the logo on there. Now this is this is way too big. You're gonna want to size this down. That's probably good right there. That's good. Boom. Minecraft thumbnail. I know that this whole thing is a joke, but if you upload this thumbnail for your video, people are gonna click on it. Am I right? I'm not wrong. So there's another fantastic thumbnail knocked out of the park. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this bull crap like I'm gonna make a Minecraft video. Get the frick out. Now, if you wanna be even more relevant to what the kids are liking right now on YouTube, you got this face here, right? But your natural face, naturally how it looks, is not wacky enough. It's not crazy enough. Look, click on grow and just hit the eyes with it. That's right. That, oh already much much better let's drag the eyebrows up here a little bit oh my god i can't believe what i'm seeing and then we'll grow the mouth oh yeah now that's what <laughs> that's what we like <laughs> now i really want to know what did this guy see what could possibly have made another person's face look that way the answer undertale undertale pick the most popular character from the game you're playing to put on the thumbnail even if it has little to nothing to do with the episode of the game you're making. I'm going to show you a secret right now that is going to change your YouTube career. Grab a picture of the guy. We're getting a picture of Sans. Now people love it when you take your head and put it on something else's body. I mean, what is crazier than that? So go ahead and chop your freaking head off. Ouch. That's got to hurt. <laughs> Get rid of that neck and that disgusting neck beard. We don't need that. Get it out of there. It's not important to the thumbnail. Oh, my dude, look at that. Just looking great. What could be crazier than that? The answer, the angle, tilt him. You're gonna tilt him all day, you always tilt him. What the frick, get that out of here, what is it? This is the one we want. Save it. Don't worry about who created it. Remember, we don't got time to credit everybody in the description whose artwork we use. What is that? We don't do that. Okay, so we got the sands with our head, our head on it. We got this thing, like what is going on there? Oh, I've never seen that, I gotta click it. And now we need the game's logo, I mean, I guess, to provide some idea of what the video is even actually about. Now, if you're ever looking at this and you're like, this is just not clickable enough, I just don't like this enough, 
feel free to put a completely different game's logo over the top of it. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, we got a Modern Warfare Remastered. It could be a comments video. I know what you're thinking. Like, yup, that's kind of misleading. Here's the deal. If they click it, you won. You got their click and you're already done. That seems fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, if you're really in doubt and you're really not sure it's clickable, always feel free to apply the triggered meme down at the bottom. This will bail you out of almost any situation. Look at that. This all of a sudden, I mean, it just paints a picture of a great video. This, I would, I would watch this video. I would click this video. So what did we learn here today? What have we learned on Yup's channel today? Put your face in there, surprise looking. You're gonna wanna put boobs in there somehow, some way, incorporate the boobs. Always, remember, repeat after me, incorporate the boobs. We also learned that the thumbnail doesn't really have to do anything with what your video is actually about as long as it's clickable. So make sure you put integrity second on your list before getting people to click on your video. That's very important. You're going to want if you're not prepared to do that, you might not be cut out to make it on YouTube. If you have made it to this point in the video and you don't know that all of this was a joke, this was all a joke. You should not do any of this stuff. This is just me poking fun at YouTubers thumbnails who all look the exact same and it really bothers me and I know what you're thinking right now. Yub, some of your thumbnails look like that. They sure do, ow, because it kind of works. And if there's ever a video that I feel like is gonna be more of a mass appeal video, I will make kind of a mass appeal thumbnail to get those people there and hopefully they will like it in a real sense. Do not be misleading in your thumbnail. Do not be misleading in your video title. It's just gonna piss people off. They're gonna get there. They're gonna, yes, you got their click and they're immediately gonna click away and they will never give your channel another chance. So be, I mean, have a little integrity. This whole video was a joke. Please do not take any of this advice. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, the program I'm using in this video is called GIMP. It's like free Photoshop and it's very good. I use it for all my thumbnails. Uh, the link's in the description. It's free, go get it. If you got any questions on actual thumbnail advice, I not good at it, but I don't mind helping you out. So hit your boy up down in the comments. I love you guys. Please hit all the little YouTube buttons down there at the bottom if you want to see more from me. And as always, have a bye five. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm kind of tempted to use this thumbnail for this video. I feel like I can't decide if it would be a good idea or a bad idea. I'm thinking it's a little too Undertale and that people will get really mad if I use this and it doesn't have anything to do with Undertale. Let's bring that WTF back. I think the WTF is the key. You know what? I think that's perfect. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use this. <laughs> it's going to piss someone off, isn't it?